Welcome, Seekers of Divine Guidance. In today's video, we're embarking on a spiritual journey to uncover the signs you will see when God calls. Have you ever felt a pull towards a higher purpose or wondered if there's more to life than meets the eye? You're not alone. Throughout history, Individuals have experienced moments of divine clarity that have altered their paths forever. Whether it's a subtle whisper in your heart or a life-changing revelation, the signs of God's call are around us, waiting to be discovered. Join me as we explore scriptural insights, testimonies, and the transformative power of answering the call. Together, we will learn to recognize the signals that could be guiding you towards your destiny. So, if you're ready to open your heart and mind to the possibilities, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the signs that signal God's call in our lives. 1. You will be filled with authority. When God calls you He will bestow a lot of power upon you. This power that will come from above will be accompanied by a high level of authority. Now, this authority doesn't mean you will boss people around or make demands. It's a different kind of authority. One that comes from humility and grace. This means you might find yourself doing things you normally won't do. From time to time you might wake up and suddenly find yourself feeling like preaching or praying to someone. The Holy Spirit will begin to move you just like He moved the Apostles. You won't be in control of yourself. You might see a sick person and you find yourself laying hands on them to pray for them. You won't know why you are doing this but you just have that authority from above. Naturally you might be very shy in real life, but when God calls you, you will find out you will become very bold and full of authority. You could stand in front of large crowds and speak to all classes of people without feeling afraid. In the Bible, every time God called anyone He spent time encouraging them to be bold and fear not. God did it to Joshua, the successor of Moses. 2. An insatiable hunger for righteousness. One of the most apparent signs God has called you is that you will have an unquenchable desire for the things of God. This is because when God calls you, His primary aim will be to renew your spirit. This will lead to you having a strong zeal and hunger for the things of God. Jesus said in Matthew 5 that, Blessed are they, that hunger and taste after righteousness for they shall be filled. You might discover that you will start to feel a sudden urge to read the Bible, listen to sermons or interact with other believers. This isn't just a passing interest. It's a deep burning passion that can't ignore. The reason God will do this is because, He wants to fill your spirit by equipping you with the knowledge and power you need. 3. Trials and Temptations An obvious sign that will show that God has called you is that you will face an incredible amount of temptations. Many people mistakenly assume temptations suddenly stop once God calls them. This is a false belief. In fact if before you were called by God you were only tempted ten times a day, your levels of trials and temptations will increase by one hundred times a day. God's calling upon your life doesn't mean the devil will leave you alone. In fact you will face one of the fiercest levels of temptation you've ever faced. The reason the devil will intensify this is, so that you get overwhelmed and discouraged. Notice that in Matthew chapter 4, the Bible tells us Jesus was driven into the wilderness to be tested by the devil. If you must serve God you must be prepared for times when you will be tempted. In fact people who never used to offend you before will suddenly start to get on your nerves. 
This will be the period in which your calling and standing with God will be tested. But you should not be afraid to face temptations but rather you should be confident to confront it knowing God is more than able to deliver you from all manners of temptations. 4. Affirmation from Others Encouragements and confirmation from believers who recognize your calling or potential for a particular ministry. For instance, in the books of Colossians 4, Paul affirmed Archippus calling to him. Likewise Timothy. 5. You easily get convicted. When God calls you, another obvious sign you notice will be that you will always feel convicted whenever you do something wrong. Let me explain when God calls you. The first thing he does is to separate you from the nature of sin so whenever you do something sinful, your conscience will come alive and you will immediately have a sense of regret each time you do something wrong. Whenever you feel a strong sense of conviction it is actually a good thing. It means that, the Spirit of God is actively trying to purge you and help you become a clean person. 6. Divine Dreams and Visions God can tell you through dreams and visions that He has called you. For instance you might dream and see yourself preaching to a large crowd or leading a crowd in praise and worship. This is an indication that God is calling you in a service. You might also find yourself regularly having dreams of men of God preaching to you. This means the Spirit of God is ministering to you or you might even dream of seeing angelic visitations or you find yourself performing miracles in the dream. All these are indications God has chosen you. 7. Hatred for Injustice When God calls you this will cause you to have a hatred for injustice and unrighteousness. When you have such strong conviction you will feel compelled to stand against evil. In many cases God will want you to advocate on behalf of others who cannot do so themselves. This will involve standing up for the voiceless or speaking out against oppressive people. You will be moved by a desire to protect and defend those who cannot fight for themselves. You will even be willing to take risks in order to champion the cause of righteousness and speak out against unrighteousness. 8. You will be God conscious. One of the key ways you will know that God has called you is that you will become very God conscious. You will have a constant sense of God's presence around you and in everything you do. You will constantly keep thinking of God's opinion about it. This means that you will no longer do things independently as you used to do before. It means that you will be constantly aware of God's presence around your life and will always see to align your thoughts and actions with His will. You will be less concerned about your own desires and wants and focus more on serving the greater God and doing what is right in God's eyes. You will weigh your options more carefully and consider how each choice aligns with God's plan for your life. You will also find that your relationships with others are impacted in a positive way as you strive to be more kind, compassionate and forgiving just as God would want you to be. 9. You will lose friends. When God calls you don't be surprised if your friends start leaving you. You might find out that people you used to hang out with just don't seem to understand you anymore. They might start to distance themselves from you or cut you off completely. And this could be very difficult especially because these are people you might have known for years or maybe even decades. But the truth is when God calls you, you will begin to see things differently and your priorities will shift. You will remove them because he doesn't want anyone to be a hindrance to your calling. In fact even if he doesn't remove them you might find out that they will start leaving you on their own. 
This is because the light in you convicts them of the darkness in them. For instance, in John chapter 6, the scripture says, Many of Jesus' followers cut off from him and walk with him no more. This might be painful at the onset. However know that this is all for your own good. So if you are going through such don't let it get you down. 10. Persecution God's calling comes with glory but that glory also attracts adversity. When you sign up to be God's representative, you're signing up for a life of persecution. You're signing up for the life of someone who is going to be criticized and judged. People who knew you might be the first to look down on you. They might even threaten to cut off ties with you. In fact you might be surprised that even Christians will persecute you. Maybe God might be using you in ways that others haven't seen and so they will be the first to rise up against you, telling you that you aren't of God. But don't let that discourage you. Remember you're not doing this for them. You're doing this because you feel a calling that's bigger than yourself. Persecution is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength when you're called by God. You'll have the strength to face whatever comes your way. You'll have the courage to stand by your beliefs even when others don't agree with you. In fact if in your calling you don't face persecution you should really be concerned because everyone called by God will experience some level of persecution. As we conclude today's exploration of the signs you will see when God calls you, remember that the journey to understanding your divine calling is deeply personal and unique. Whether you've experienced an unquenchable desire for justice, a deep inner conviction, or transformative changes in your life, these signs are invitations to step into a greater purpose. Embrace the courage to follow these signs, for they will lead you to a path of fulfillment and service that only you can walk. As you continue to seek and respond to God's call, May you find strength in the trials, joy in the journey and peace in the knowledge that you are moving in alignment with a higher plan. Thank you for watching, and may your path be illuminated with the light of purpose and conviction. Until we meet again, stay inspired, and keep your heart open to the signs of God's calling. Amen and Amen.